Now, your Chris 6 weather forecast. Hey, good evening, everybody. Let's take a look at the live Snoopy cam from Snoopy's looking across Laguna Madre towards the JFK Causeway and all the way across the bay to Corpus Christi. Yeah, visibilities are excellent out there right now. There are some thin high clouds and off to the distant northeast. You got a few light showers up around Port Lavaca. One or two light showers dissipating right now in our offshore waters. But they haven't amounted to much today and we made it to 79 degrees today. That's 10 degrees above normal for this time of the year. 57 year low and that too. Well, that's eight degrees above normal. So a very mild day out there today, but no rain officially at the airport. Let's take a look at temperatures across the state. It's pretty much mild everywhere. 50s and 60s in most locations, a few 70s across our area and into deep south Texas, but nothing unusual. It's just a mild day across the Lone Star State. Now overnight tonight, we don't drop as cool as we did this morning. In fact, we'll be in the upper 50s to lower 60s, middle 60s under that cloud deck along the coastline and uh, a little bit of daylight, uh, early morning fog. You're going to see visibilities in the inland area briefly down to a mile or two. But other than that, the wind's going to be a little bit too strong to generate much in the way of additional fog along the coastline. You can see it dropping down to four to five miles an hour, but then it picks up tomorrow a little bit breezy out there. And uh, as you go through the next couple of days, winds aren't going to be quite quite as strong. But what you do see is multiple layers of moisture, low clouds and a few little showers uh, during the day Thursday and Friday as well. These little weak disturbances coming across. Nothing really prominent as far as rain is concerned. Hit and miss showers is what you're going to see. So you're going to have to water your yard and you might even want to, you know, wash the car or something because it's not going to make that much difference. Forecast lows tomorrow. Uh, Highs tomorrow, excuse me, lower to middle 70s, a little milder along the coastline, and that's pretty close to uh, what we saw today. So if you go out to the coastal waters, partly cloudy, breezy tomorrow, those, those stray showers are going to be out there. A southeast wind at 10 to 20 knots, slightly choppy to occasionally choppy bays and two to three foot seas. The rip current risk is going to be low. Now, here's what we're looking at. With the high pressure off in the upper air in the northern Gulf of Mexico, you got little waves of instability moving across. You know, you see the abundant moisture out there, the multiple layers of clouds. It gets lifted by these little disturbances coming across and giving us minor incidences of rain. No big deal. Just isolated stray showers, something like that. And then Saturday, you start to see more energy coming in here. In fact, by Sunday, this fairly major disturbance produces showers and thunderstorms. Uh, Again, we're right on the southwestern periphery of where that's going to happen. And then after that, it's out of here. So how much rain are we talking about? It's kind of disappointing. If you need rain, this isn't going to be the scenario. One to two tenths of an inch along the coastline, more up towards the Houston metro area, but we don't live there. So this is what we're seeing overnight tonight, uh, lower 60s. And then as we go through the next couple of days, we're going to be seeing uh, above normal temperatures, isolated showers around. Best chance of rain comes up Sunday, cooler on Christmas Day.